Welcome, Steeler Nation, to Steelers Update News Reports and on uh, more updates, more news. There's breaking news all over, all over the shop. I miss it all the time, right? I miss everything. But there's now news that Justin Fields will be quarterback number one this coming week versus Denver, right? We beat the Falcons 18-10. Thank you, Chris Boswell. But now there's a report about uh, Fields to be the quarterback in Denver. However, not so fast. I want to try and break this down, but there's going to be some pros and cons uh, for Fields being quarterback number one, and a bit of a bit of a different angle, different view out thinking outside the box why it should be a benefit before Fields to be number one. But let's start with uh, this is the this is the report coming out com, coming from Ian Rappaport says Steelers are planning on starting uh, Justin Fields on Sunday once again. Coach Mike Tomlin just told reporters. That quarterback Russell Wilson, who missed week one with calf tightness, is feeling better and he'll be monitored, but no revenge game this week. Now, some people are thinking that Russell Wilson is being labeled out, that he will not be playing at all, but it's not what he said. So you'll see many, many YouTube videos out there. Uh, Russell Wilson is confirmed out week two. It's not going to happen, but it's not what he said. Um, if you actually listen to the to the the uh, the podcast, the interview, whatever you call it, the, on on the uh, on the um, what do you call it, the Steelers conference, this is what he said. So Dale Laurie, Laurie reports, head coach Mike Tomlin said Russell Wilson won't practice until Thursday. The team will assess where he's at from that point, but team the team is preparing as if Justin Fields will start this time next week versus Denver. The big difference. Russell Wilson is not playing yet. And they're going with quarterback number one, Justin Fields. So I think a lot of reports out there will say, you know what? That Wilson has is done. He's not, he's not, not the starter no more. They're going to go to Fields and he's now quarterback number one. It's not what he said. So it's more so that at this time, they're preparing for Justin Fields to start week one. And we don't know what we're going to get with Russell Wilson just yet. And he won't practice until Thursday. So I've got to, got to kind of go through the motion with that. Now, of course, both quarterbacks offer two different skill sets. Um, I think that uh, uh, Russell Wilson has a better ball, but we still got to see it in game, right? Fields is so much fun to watch. He's running around town. He's going, getting first downs, got 70 yards. I don't know if Russell Wilson can, Wilson can run like that, but maybe uh, Wilson finds his receivers better than Fields does. You know, I'm not, I'm not against Fields. I'm not against Wilson. I actually don't care who plays. I just want to see the team win. I just want to see some winning football. But I think the fan base will jump on this right now and say that that quarterback uh, Fields is a better quarterback. You go with him uh, into into week two. But it's not what he said. Mike Tomlin said that Russell Wilson won't be ready until Thursday, and they'll assess from that point. Then they'll prepare as if Justin Fields is the quarterback. So right now, Russell Wilson is still quarterback number one, and Fields is quarterback number two. But quarterback number one is injured, therefore quarterback number two steps up. That that's how easy it is. It really is. That's that's how easy. I also wanted to bring up um, uh, I wanted to bring up this bloke here, my mate uh uh, uh Brennan Perna. He says here the NFL needs to flex Broncos versus Steelers until Russell Wilson is healthy. Make a week nineteen if necessary. Now here's a very good point. A lot of Broncos fans, maybe like 98%, maybe 100% of Broncos fans, they want to see Russell Wilson come back to their stadium. It's a bit like if Kenny Pickett was uh, a week one uh, QB starter or if we were playing Kenny Pickett in our house coming back. A lot of fans would love to see Kenny Pickett come back to Heinz Field so the Steelers defense could smash him. I get the same feeling with Denver, the coaches, maybe some of the players, the whole fan base. They want this revenge game. They really, really do. They want this revenge game where Russell Wilson comes back into the building and they absolutely pummel him. You pile on the sacks, tackle him, hit him as hard as they can, and they send a message saying, we don't need you, Russell Wilson. We're paying for your contract. We don't need you. Now, on the flip side, I think some of the fan base, Steelers fan base, they want to see Russell Wilson walk in there with Denver paying them all the money, like $48 million. We're only paying like $1 million, and send a message back saying, you know what, Denver, you suck. I'm going to throw TDs on you. I'm going to run around and win the game 28 to 10, score four TDs, bring back old Russell Wilson, veteran Russell Wilson, say, Denver, you're a mistake, right? That's the flip side. 
Now, here's one big thing that I don't know if anyone will agree with me, but I wouldn't mind if this happens. You play Justin Fields, right? Say Russell Wilson still got the calf tightness. He's still a bit injured. He's out. He's there. He's not going to play. It wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that bad to go into this game. You play Fields. You get you get more reps out of him. You you start to understand can he be a, a franchise quarterback? You, you you see you see what you got with Fields, right? The first game he was a bit shaken up, a bit jittery, a bit nervous. The second game you build on that. You go down, get a TD. You get some more yards. You find out who Justin Fields is for your franchise. That's what you find out. The same time, you miss, you avoid this revenge game completely. And I mean completely. The NFL wants it. The Broncos fans want it in their house. They want this idea of a revenge game. So what better way to then sit Russell Wilson and say in, in he's got an injury, you rest you rest Russell Wilson, you play him as third quarterback, whatever it may be. I'm sure people will still go after Russell Wilson. He was wearing the third quarterback uh, uniform mask game, and people on Twitter and Facebook and all that kind of crap on social media were saying, why, why is he wearing the jersey? Because he's a third quarterback in case of the other two blokes go down. But here's how you avoid everything, and here's why I think the Steelers might do this. If they don't, they might do this. Mike Tomlin and crew might just go in. Justin Fields, you're our guy this week. We're going to prepare you to be our guy. Um, Russell Wilson's going to sit it out for the next week. And then come week three, we'll figure it out. Do you go with uh, Fields again? I don't know. But to avoid this idea of the revenge game, you don't put your player as quarterback number one anyway. That's what the Bronco fans want. They want a revenge game. They want to get their fans pumped up and hyped up and, and take it all out on Wilson, 100%. The O-line is now still a bit here and there. I think Dan Moore was out with an injury. Um, will we have Fartana come back? There's, there, I, I thought that Spencer Anderson filled in pretty well. Zach Frazier, that'll be his second game on, on the road. So do you take that risk where you put Wilson behind center in 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 his old old stadium the last two years, revenge game, crowd's going crazy, you can't hear, you got his silent count and, all, and everything like that, um, all those kind of things happening. Why, why take that risk? If he's still hurt, if he's not that healthy, he's not 100%, he's still hurt, and you're going to force the Broncos fans and stadium to call it a revenge game. They want this. They want this so bad where they're taking everything out on Russell Wilson. The, 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 the coach doesn't like him. The organization doesn't like him. The fans don't like Russell Wilson. Right? As I said with my mate, uh, Brandon Perna, he's a good bloke, by the way, but they want this. They want the, the, the Steelers versus Ravens. They want Bo Nix versus Russell Wilson, and they want to call it a revenge game. So what better way than rest up Russell Wilson to be 100% in the next few weeks? You go with Fields, and you calm the noise. You calm the noise. Although, on the flip side, you kind of go back to some other Steel fans and, and maybe another point of view. You might think, well, it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. Go out there, execute. Russell Wilson starts if he's healthy. He delivers a great game. We win the game and you quiet and shut up Denver. So there's two ways you can play it, I think. There's two ways. If Russell Wilson is healthy, they, they might they might go with him. He goes, he's going to walk into Denver, quiet the noise, and the revenge game will turn into a very quiet crowd if he plays well. Or you avoid the whole situation completely and you play Justin Fields and you get more uh, reps and you start to understand as, a, as an organization, is he, is, he, is he our guy going forward? I'm at the point now, I reckon it's good to have two quarterbacks where we're trying to figure out two, two different skill sets. You know, veteran quarterback in Wilson, uh, 25-year-old Justin Fields starting again, getting another chance. He Fields is 1-0 as a, as a Steelers quarterback, right? Now, of course, it was all uh, Chris Boswell, but at the same time, they were moving the ball down the field. They moved the ball down the field six out of 10 times, and they got points. They, they scored the equivalent, equivalent of almost three TDs. People complaining about TDs, they scored... 18 points. One more field goal or a TD on that would have been th uh, uh, two TDs and, and another, another. it would have been almost like 24, what's that, 26 points, right? We're so close. Oh, we should. We need TDs. Yeah, but the, the, the offense, okay, anyways, the offense got you in the chance, in the, in the chance and the dance to give you to give you field goals. I think some people just see this thing as, as stats. And like I said the other day, just stats and overall this and this. It's like, mate, you got to go, go back and watch the game again. The game was fantastic. We played physical football. We, Najee was going off. 
He had some big plays to pick in. He had some defense going off, two picks, a fumble recovery by TJ Watt. If those flags don't happen, then TJ Watt, Watt, Watt would have had three sacks. He would have had two forced fumbles, and one, two recoveries. Um, it would have been a crazy day. The refs got involved again, trying to keep it uh, so we can't smash him. We could have beaten the Falcons, I don't know, 26 to three, something like that. But then a lot of fans will go back, oh, we, we, we need to score TDs. Of course you need to score TDs, but that's why you have the legend, uh, uh, the Wizard of Boz, if I have it, the Wizard of Boz, he went out there and kick, kicked six field goals to get 18 points. And remember, one touchdown is, is six points. So you're scoring half a touchdown. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, of course, you do want to. You do want to score touchdowns, that's for sure. But I'm still happy going out there, chipping, getting three, getting three, up, up 9-0. Maybe you get a touchdown. That's, uh, what's that, 6-15. That's 17-16-0, right, I think. Yeah, 16-0. So I'm happy with that. And we can always improve. Okay, anyways, I'm, I'm, going, off, I'm going off topic. That's the big news. So news was that Steelers are playing to, to uh, start quarterback Justin Fields. Only if Russell Wilson is still, still quarterback number one, they're playing Fields now. And we've got to wait and see later on the week, like maybe a Friday, maybe a Thursday. Then we figure out at that point, they'll be like, oh, okay, Fields is a guy to go. He's the number one quarterback for this week. But he's not the number one quarterback right now. It's 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 Fields for the moment, while Wilson is getting getting better. And I trust what Dal Lowy said, is he won't practice, practice until Thursday. Team will assess where he's at. But the team is preparing as if Justin Fields will start against uh, Denver this week. He's not quarterback number one dish yet, right? But they could, they could, if they wanted to, play fields and avoid this revenge game because I know the Denver fans want this. The Denver fans want to see Russell Wilson on his back. They want to see, they want to see him uh, throw picks and all those kind of things. They want to see Russell Wilson fail. And what better way to avoid that than don't play him, heal him up, and avoid this whole revenge game. Alrighty, Steel Nation, I'll see you later.